Hello and welcome to Cookie's Game Point. Today we are going to be learning a new language using the game Influent, which came out on Steam about a week ago. It was also on sale a week ago. Uh, right now it's selling for $9.99 um, for one language pack. And if you want to buy another language pack, you'll have to pay $4.99 for that. So... Influent. I have the Japanese version up right now. I've played a little bit of it uh, earlier on. I actually recorded it, but then I didn't include the mouse, so it looked pretty bad, and I think it would have been confusing for a lot of people. So I've actually learned Japanese for um, five years, but I've done it by myself. Um, so I've never had any formal teaching. So this, this, um, this game is quite useful so we're going to jump into it and take a look at some of the stuff we can do with it so play so I have that I have that I played for 30 minutes so let's go into a new game Woo so here we have um, the language selection and also um, let's see alphabet selection I guess you'd call it so this means Japanese, Nihongo, or if you're Chinese, you can also understand this because they use the same letters. Um, so the three alphabets that you can choose from are Kanji, Kana, and Romaji. Kanji is um, the most difficult one, I'd say, because it includes Chinese characters along with the Japanese alphabet. So, you know... Japanese language the Japanese language uses uh, some Chinese characters for some of the objects and some of the vocabulary that they have because they basically came from China if I'm not mistaken probably got my history wrong or something and then kana is the um, is the alphabet that was developed to sort of make Japanese easier so it's a lot more standardized than the um, the Chinese characters because Chinese characters you don't have a standardized way of saying words. Some words might be pronounced differently if they're coupled with another word, whereas kana it will always be pronounced the same because it's an alphabet. It comes um, so kana is basically composed of hiragana and katakana. Hiragana is this pretty swirly looking thing and then katakana you probably have seen it before it's a lot more how do you say squarish looking and it's used for borrowed words and then you have romaji which is the romanized version of everything so you can read it out if you're starting out romaji is pr probably the best I like to challenge myself and use kanji but a lot of the time because I don't really know the kanji for words um, well, well, I do know the kanji for words, but I don't know how to pronounce them. So kana is a lot more useful for me. It also helps me practice my reading skills. So let's begin. There's going to be a short cutscene, which doesn't even fit my screen. So I'm going to shut up and let you listen to it. Begin. Hey Firestarter, my name is Andrew Cross and I'm an independent inventor. Recently I developed an awesome handheld language learning device known as the Sanji Genji 10. I brought my prototype to a major technology corporation and things were really taking off. That is, until somebody stole it! <clears throat> but that's okay, because I'm here to prove the Sanji Genji 10 is my invention and I need your help. Over the course of this campaign, I will demonstrate the effectiveness of my device. And to do so, I hereby vow that I will learn 100 words. Wait, make that 200. No, 300 words in a foreign language. Don't you make me go to four. As I learn, you can follow me right here on Firestarter. Join me as I learn my first few words right now. My device can scan real-world objects using state-of-the-art technology that only I understand. It can then determine the name of that object and teach anyone how to say it in any language. But more importantly, 
My device even saves vocab lists, allowing those seeking mastery of a language to challenge themselves. If we manage to raise more than enough to cover all the lawyer fees, as a stretch goal, I'll even develop a remote control spaceship that works in conjunction with the device. It'll have a sweet paint job and ion engines and, and lasers. Yeah, as I was saying, I'm confident that the Sanji Genji Ten will change the world as we know it. I hope you're with me. I like how he did that pointing thing, like, I hope you're with me. Doesn't really give that much of an effect. Like what you hear, get swept away by more music from Life Formed in Hitbox Team's Dust Force. Oh, they did Dust Force. I didn't know that. Oh, oh sorry. I hit my mic. I hit my mic. So this game does not really have much of a tutorial. It has... A little box that tells you how to do things. I don't think that's really that great of a way to teach the mechanics of a game. I wish they had something more, pra like more practical, I guess. Something that where you actually get a hands-on feel of how to do things. You just have this little box, and it goes over there, and then tells you the rest. So, welcome to Influent! Hey, my name is Trip, and I'll be your guide. Follow me over here. It doesn't even say where you click. You just have to click, and then he goes over there. He listened. This is the hint box. Hide or show this with F1, or hint the, or hit the box below. See, now it disappeared. Are you gonna tell me the rest? Nope. Oh, there you go. Hint box, next R, get a move on, arrows to walk. Click and drag with either mouse button to rotate the camera. So you can rotate the camera with the two mouse buttons. Uh, press tab for FPS mode if you need to have a close up, but uh, yeah. I don't really like this mode. Uh, tab. Okay. All access pass. You can open doors with the right click. Click on anything, press space to quick add words to your vocab list, or just click on the word itself. Word appears over here. Double click an object for more info. You can replay the audio or swap words with available synonyms. So if you find a word that's too difficult, you can swap it over so that it uses an easier form of the word. We'll take a look at that later. Add 10 words to your vocabulary list to unlock time attack mode. Every 10 words forms a new list. Time attack mode is a little quiz game which um, tells you, uh, which gives you a word and then you have to go around your house and find it. Can be a little challenging. Text mode, hotkeys, RF. You can change the text mode from kanji, kana, and romaji, the three text modes that we were talking about. Oh, it's called text mode, not an alphabet. <laughs> Elusive objects. So there are some hidden objects. You can shift, press shift to crouch down. You have to press and hold it. And control left to access child objects. So if there are items on an item, you have to press control and then click on it like this pillow over here. You can't click on it automatically. You have to click there. You have to press control, I mean. Star Spangler. Inception mode. Oh, it is called Inception mode. Haha, <laughs> cuz... Yeah. Object with an object. Star Spangler. Earn stars by correctly selecting a word three times in a row in time attack mode. Spend your hard-earned stars to unlock all those adjective and verb tabs found in game. Do a mouse roll. Roll the mouse. You can change the camera zoom distance. Thank you. That's very, very slow. Magnifying glass icon. So you can do that in first person. Teapot icon. List editing. In your vocabulary, you can move words around in pairs. <clears throat> Excuse me. Set the controls. The options menu has a lot of useful stuff to see. Be sure to take a look. One last thing. See if you can master 50 words. You might find it worth your while. Okay, let's take this off the screen because that bothers me. So, welcome to the world of Influent. This is your world. This is everything. This has all your vocabulary. And you are stuck in this room. 
trying to learn 300 words for your fire starter program so that people will believe that you are the person who made this awesome device. I don't really understand how that verifies that you are the maker of the, the device. You're the only one who can understand it, apparently, but uh, I don't really buy into that. So the main point of this game is to learn things. You click around, and then you add it to your vocabulary. So this is a posta, pa, posta, which is a borrowed word, as you can see. This is katakana, which is the alphabet for borrowed words. And then ketai. That means cell phone. Let's add that to our vocab list. You just press space to add things here, vocab list. And then you have words that, like this, are quite long. Mezamashi, mezamashi toke, doke, which is a word that I haven't really seen people use uh, based on my language learning experience, which stems from listening to live streams, let's plays, and um, interacting with uh, Japanese people on Twitter. I don't think people use mezamashi doke. People use um, another form of the word, which we can see over here. So you can choose mezamashi <clears throat> doke. So they, they provide audio, which is pretty cool. Because some language learning programs don't even do that. They just give you stuff and then... You're forced to learn it. Okay. So, toke is what I usually hear people say. And it's a lot easier. So I don't know why they chose to just give the more difficult uh, version of the word. Especially when it's not used as often as this easier version. And by the way, you can see the English over here. If you click this button. So, you can unlock the adjective for this after you complete the the time attack. So let's get 10 vocab first. Uh, the problem with this game, it has a lot of borrowed word, borrowed, borrowed, <laughs> sorry, borrowed words like this one. It's, this is a lamp, it's called rampu. And then this is an aircon, it's aircon. And let's see, that's a skateboard. Skateboardo. Skateboardo. Like, there's simply too many borrowed words here. I don't see why, how that would be so useful because if you are in Japan, you are you are likely to just use the English word and sort of turn it into something that sounds sort of Japanese. Like, hamburger, you just say hambaga. It's something you just do on your own so I don't see how it would be useful to just learn these things pedo and mofu I think this is mofu mofu Mo ma makura makura let's add that makura 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 okay I'm learning new words as well so if I sort of panic then I am sorry. Say, printer, printa, and then this is computer, computer. The thing is, Japanese people don't use the word computer as often as you'd think they do. They have a more, um, let's say, more modern way of calling it. So, a computer is a pas personal computer. So they. They um so from personal computer they turn it to pasunaru computer and they shorten it to pasokon which is a more modern way of saying the word contemporary way of saying the word so i don't find it useful that they use words that are, that aren't really contemporary let's see oh, there there you go you can choose pasokon 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 it would also be nice if they had some sort of explanation as to how this pasokon was made from pasonaru computer, personal computer, to perso-kon, pasokon. Chisei no aru. 
知性のある知性のある means intelligent I'm learning something Yeah, that's a problem with, I have with the game. Too many borrowed words that aren't really useful if you're going to Japan or if you're communicating with a Japanese person because you're likely to just use the, to just, you know, Jap- Japanese, Japaneseify, Japaneseify those words anyway. So let's take a look at the time attack mode. Let's see. Do I know all these words?、Uh, Posta, poster, Ketai is a phone. Toke is a clock, ramp is a lamp, aircon, aircon, skateboard, skateboard, wardrobe, bed, makura, makura is a pillow, printer. Okay, so what you do is you position yourself in a nice. This one is,、uh, this should make it easier. Oops, oops, how do I get up? So let's go for time attack. You just click the vocab thing and then you'll have time attack once you have 10 vocabulary in your list. Time attack! Lamp.、Right. Lamp. And then you double click on the word. Printer. Tokei. Tokei. Skateboard. Skateboard. Kaytai. Kaytai. Phone. Makura. Makura. Aircon. エアコンポスターポスターワードローブワードローブベッドベッド Alright So we got that right Have eleven words collected And you can open things up which is pretty cool You have a bunch of vocabulary here but you have some things that repeat Like hako, hako, this means box. And if you come over here to the kitchen, you open up a wardrobe, there are cereal boxes. And there are already cereal boxes out here, so I don't see the point of having cereal boxes in there. I mean, okay, sure, that, that's a little more realistic, but still, I find it. I don't know. It could have, the space could have been used for a little bit more vocabulary. But then again, there's already 300 in this game, and they have around five languages, I think. They have、uh, Mandarin, Spanish, German, I think, Dutch. What, what, other, ga- what other languages? I don't remember all the languages, but they have、uh, quite a few. So I guess I, I can let them slide for that.、Um, so, yeah. What else is there to show? Banana, orange, ringo, momo. So,、um, this game has actually been useful. I think it is quite useful in、um, practicing my Japanese. Sukuri! That means medicine. What is this? Hami. Hamigaki. Hamigaki. What is that? Hamigaki. 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 See, I have, I've never bothered to learn some of these vocabulary, like toothpaste. And I think the time attack is a great way of、um, practicing your language. It doesn't teach you how to make form sentences, which are.、Uh, I don't know. It's kind of like, you know, when you learn vocabulary, all you can do is point and say, oh, this is that. When it's actually quite self explanatory, what that thing is. It would be nice if it could have a little bit of a sentence making thing, but then again, this game already does quite a lot with 300 vocabulary and the fact that it has been.、Um, has been translated to a couple of languages. Shatsu. I know some of these words, so I'm just adding them into my vocabulary just for l o l s Do I have this in my vocabulary?、Uh, headphone. Headphone. CD is shidi. Shide. Shidi. Shidi.、Uh, Hochikisu is a stapler. Sounds like a very nice kiss.、Uh, Karenda? Oh, thank God it's not romanized. 
Okay. And then another problem with this is that when I close this X button, it doesn't like close. Just I have to click the play now button. But anyway, ah, uh, I really like the music in this game. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. But yeah, I mean this game is pretty good for 9.99, I'd say if you're interested in learning languages. Uh, the Japanese isn't as useful as the other languages, I presume, because of all the borrowed words. But I think the Chinese and all the other languages should be okay in learning vocabulary. So yeah, this was a quick look of um, Influent, the Japanese version. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be giving a link to the Steam entry of this game in the description below. I might be doing a full review on my blog soon, so look forward to that. So this was Cookie from Cookie's Game Point, bringing you today Influent. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.